Good day everyone. Our topic to be discussed today is solving logarithmic equations and logarithmic inequalities. With learning competency, the learners solve logarithmic equations and inequalities. Property of logarithmic equations. If b is greater than 1, then the logarithmic function y is equal to log of x to the base of b is increasing for all x. But if b is less than 1 but greater than 0, then the logarithmic function y is equal to log of x to the base of b is decreasing for all x. This means that log of u to the base of b is equal to log of v to the base of b. If and only if u is equal to v. So we have here the techniques for solving logarithmic equations. First, we write the logarithmic equation to exponential form. Second, using logarithmic laws and properties. Third, applying the one-to-one -one property of logarithmic functions. Then fourth, using the zero factor for in if a times b is equal to zero, then a is equal to zero or b is also equal to zero. So let's now try to find the value of x in the following logarithmic equations. Number one, log of 4x to the base of 8 is equal to log of 24 to the base of 8. Since the base now are equal, that is log to the base of 8, so we have now 4x is equal to 24 by 1 to 1 property. So solving 4x, so divide both sides by 4, so 24 divided by 4 now, x is equal to 6. Number 2, log of x minus 3 to the base of 2 is equal to 4. This is in logarithmic form, so we can change this into exponential form, wherein 2 is the base, 4 is the exponent, and x minus 3 is the answer. So therefore, we have now x minus 3 is equal to 2 to the 4th power. And 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. So we have x minus 3 is equal to 16. So solving for x, transpose negative 3 on the other side, so that is x is equal to 16 plus 3, which is equal to 19. Number 3, log of 2x to the base of 4, is equal to log of 10 to the base of 4. Since they are both in base 4, so we have 2x is equal to 10. That is by 1 to 1 property. Then solving for x, divide by both sides by 2. So 10 divided by 2, x is equal to 5. Number 4, log of 2x minus 1 to the base of 3 is equal to 2. So we can change this logarithmic form into exponential form, wherein 3 is the base, 2x exponent, 2x minus 1 is the answer. So we have now 2x minus 1 is equal to 3 squared, that is by changing into exponential form, wherein 3 squared is equal to 9. So we have now 2x minus 1 is equal to 9. And transposing negative 1 so we have now 2x is equal to 9 plus 1 which is equal to 2x is equal to 10 to get the value of x divide both sides by 2 so we have now x is equal to 5 number 5 log of 16 to the base of x is equal to 2 change this into exponential form x is the base 2 is the exponent 16 is the answer so we have x squared is equal to 16. Equate this into 0. So we have now x squared minus 16 is equal to 0. 
Since this is a quadratic equation, we can get the value of x by factoring. Factor of 16 is positive 4 and negative 4, so we have x minus 4 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. Where in the value of x is positive 4 and negative 4. To check if positive 4 and negative 4 is a solution, we can substitute the value of x to log of 16 to the base of x. So that is log of 16 to the base of 4. So by definition, x is equal to 4 is a solution. For negative 4, we have log of 16 to the base of negative 4. By so definition, x is equal to negative 4 is not a solution because b should be positive and b here is negative 4. Number 6, log of x plus 1 to the base of 2 plus log of x minus 1 to the base of 2 is equal to 3. So this is the product of two logarithms. So that means, or the sum of two logarithms, that means we're going to multiply the two given logarithms. So we have the base of 2 and 3 is the exponent. So that will be x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 2 cubed. And 2 cubed is equal to 8. So transposing it, so we have now x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. So that is by factoring, we can have now x minus 3 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. So but the value of x is equal to positive 3 and x is equal to negative 3. So to check, substitute the value of x to the given function. So that is log of 3 plus 1 to the base of 2. So that is log of 3 plus 1 is 4. So log of 4 to the base of 2. So x is equal to 3 by definition is a solution. For negative 3, log of negative 3 plus 1 is log of 2 to the base, negative 2 to the base of 2. Since that is negative 2, so by definition, x is equal to negative 3 is not a solution. Then we have the property of logarithmic inequalities. If the base or b is less than 1 but greater than 0, then x sub 1 is less than x sub 2. If and only if the logarithm of x sub 1 to the base of b is greater than the logarithm of x sub 2 to the base of b. But if b is greater than 1, then x sub 1 is less than x sub 2 if and only if log of x sub 1 to the base of b is less than log of x sub 2 to the base of b. So we have here the techniques in solving logarithmic inequalities. Number one, ensure that the logarithms are defined. Number two, make sure that the inequality is defined. So let's try to find the value of x in the following logarithmic inequalities. Number 1, log of x minus 2 to the base of 4 is greater than log of 8 to the base of 4. So since the base are equal by one to one property, so we have x minus 2 is greater than 8. So x now is equal to 8 plus 2 or x is equal or x is greater than 10. So therefore, the solution is 10 to positive infinity because x is greater than 10. Number 2, log of 2x minus 1 to the base of 3 is greater than log of x plus 2 to the base of 3. So to ensure that the logarithms are defined, so we have now, since they are both in base 3, so 2x minus 1 is greater than 0. So 2 so let's try now to find the value of x here. x is greater than 1 half. Then for x plus 2, x is greater than negative 2. To make both logarithms defined, then x is greater than 1 half. If x is greater than 1 half, then x is surely greater.
greater than negative 2. To make sure that the inequality is defined, 2x minus 1 now is greater than x plus 2. So, transposing x, so we have 2x minus x is greater than 1 plus 2. 2x minus x is x, and 1 plus 2 is 3, so we have x is greater than 3. So, we have now the solution set is, since x is greater than 3, so we have 3 to positive infinity. Number 3. Log of 3x plus 4 to the base of 1 half is greater than or equal to 4. Since the base on the left side is 1 half, so we're going to make the right side also to the base of 1 half. And 4 is a factor of 4 times 1. So for 1, we can write that into log of 1 half to the base of 1 half, which is also equal to 1. So we have now log of 3x plus 4 to the base of 1 half is greater than or equal to 4 log of 1 half to the base of 1 half. Since we have 4 here, 4 log of 1 half to the base of 1 half, applying laws of logarithm or that is the power law, 4 is the exponent of 1 half. So we have now log of 3x plus 4 to the base of 1 half is greater than or equal to log of 1 half raised to 4 to the base of 1 half. So we have now 1 half raised to the 4th power is 1 over 16. So log of 3x plus 4 to the base of 1 half is greater than equal to log of 1 over 16 to the base of 1 half. Since the base is 1 half, which is less than 1, but greater than 0. So therefore, the um, logarithmic inequalities now will be 3x plus 4 is less than or equal to 1 over 16. Because the base is less than 1 but greater than 0, then x sub 1 is less than x sub 2. Or that simply, if the base is less than uh, 1 but greater than 0, we're going to interchange the inequality sign. So from greater than equal, we're going now to use less than equal. So transposing for the other side, so we have now 3x is less than or equal to 1 over 16 minus 4. Or that is 3x is less than or equal to negative 63 over 16. Then dividing both sides by 3, so we have now x is less than or equal to negative 21 over 16. Since the value of x is negative 21 over 16, so therefore the solution set is negative 8 to negative, negative infinity to negative 21 over 16. And for your activity, that is think and strategize. So you're going to solve the following logarithmic equations from number 1 to 4. And then for activity 2, that is think, think, think before you solve. So you're going to solve the following logarithmic inequalities in a separate sheet of paper. That is from number 1 to 2. I hope that you already know or understand how to solve logarithmic equation and logarithmic inequality. So stay safe and stay at home. So that's all for today. Have a nice day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.